Hello and welcome to the production car challenge. We are in the Mazda here today at Lime Rock. You're all clear. Stay behind the line. We've and uh, two well, on, it's the production car challenge, but it might as well be the Mazda challenge as usual. <laughs> Just a bunch of Mazdas. Um, I think we have one Mustang, and we'll see if they decide to stay or not. I think we have two Solstice. And, uh, not much of anything else either. But, uh, should still be a fun race, I think. This is actually my second attempt. Found trouble early on in the last one. There was a Mustang spinning out on the front stretch of all places. And, uh, swerving all over, not holding the brakes, and I had to kind of maneuver to avoid them and lost control. And uh, hit the wall on the left over there. Green, green, green. It's kind of like this, like whoa, and then okay, lost control. So that's how that went. I didn't qualify very good in the last one because I messed up both laps. So hopefully I can uh, qualify a little bit better. Maybe they'll bring me a little bit better fortune. I just uh, I overdrove it last uh, attempt with qualifying because that was. Uh, not respecting the cold tires enough, I guess. Maybe we'll uh, do a little better this time, although this lap's not even looking that good either, so... Hopefully by the second lap, the tires will be nice and happy. I want to deal with all that. It's still not quite turning how I'd like like it to quite yet. I guess I could have taken the fuel out of it, huh? Did not even think about that. One more lap. So why would I? Why would I think of things that make me faster? B4. That last lap was a 57.52. B4 so far. Now the tires are feeling good, though. Not quite yet. Not quite perfect yet. Doing better. However. New fastest lap for McCabe. 57.47. You actually hit that pretty well. Just done a 56.94. One final corner to not mess up. Alright. That's fairly decent. About a tenth off my best, but uh, pretty sure I got that best time with uh, you know, less fuel in the car after being on track for a little longer and all that, so I'm content with that 57.1. Some real fast guys in here. I haven't hit a 56 yet. I got very, very close. But have not hit a 56 yet, like the number 7. They also hit a 56 in uh, in the open practice beforehand, so they can apparently do it at will. They're going to be really fast. Probably the top contender for the win. Uh, we're the number 8, which is nice. Uh, I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I've had some a, a string of bad road racing finishes. Uh, between just crashing out in the USF 2000... And touring car being slow in that, and crashing out in the race. Uh, my first attempt at this. There's been a lot of bad finishes lately, so hopefully I can buck that trend. And hopefully we can get started here. There's a lot of people in here, so I'm not holding my breath about it, but we've got 22, 18, 9, 6, and 4. We're still waiting on. They could easily still be doing their laps, so... I actually got a lot of people logged, uh, got laps logged out here, so maybe we will get to go early. Wonder if can you, uh, yeah, you can sort by people that have finished their laps or not. Oh, excuse me. So we can uh, stare at uh, this group of people and will them into finishing their laps or hitting the button. Here's hoping we survive pacing, as guys inevitably decide to go all over the track, 
swerving like crazy as they do to warm their tires and uh, spin out probably. I think I'm uh, pretty good on pace though. I'm feeling pretty good. I think it should be a fun race uh, as long as we survive and don't have a Mustang spin out in front of me and cause calamity. I was kind of bummed at myself because uh, I feel like I could have avoided crashing when the Mustang was going out of control. But the problem was it was still early in the race. And so whenever I kind of turned the wheel a little bit too much, it was not uh, ready to be grippy. Who else is just here for the uh, SR? Very funny. Very funny fastest guy in the room. Hang on two people, 18, 22, got inactivity, but it's too late anyway. And we've got activity, so. 18, hang on, 18. Two incidents plus two, I don't, what? <laughs> We're waiting just one single person. Please. Do your lap or something. 18. They did a lap. And they didn't do a second lap, I guess. Or maybe they're out there right now. Not sure. Anyway, we just got about uh, 40 seconds anyway. I always, uh, anytime I do a second race, I always end up running out of things to say, it feels like, because I said a bunch of stuff already in the first attempt. And then I'm left wondering, what did I already say in this recording, and what did I say in the last recording, and does any of it matter anyway? Me babbling about nonsense. I figure most people probably just skip to the start of the race anyway, and that's what I would do if I could. Imagine that, hitting a blue button saying ready to race. Number 18, making the whole lobby wait. But uh, we're good now. Here's the yeah, official numbers on uh, people that are in here. 25's racing nobody. So they're just going to be on the track. Uh, all the Mazdas, three Jettas, <laughs> two Solstice. So we got a little bit of everybody in here since the uh, Mustang decided to stay. One to go. Next time by. I hope they're Line fast enough to right stay in front. Pit road is closed right now. That's all. All I ask is uh, you have plenty of room to go. Get this ready. This fast repair, since uh, I did need it last time. And it's nice not to forget to uh, uncheck those tires in case uh, you take the fast repair and forget about it, and then they start putting the tires on it, and it takes forever. Can be the difference in a couple spots, especially if you're in a big wreck or something. So we'll get a, we'll get a good look at uh, who's around us. Turn it down a little bit. We don't have the data. Okay, that should be good. Turned it down just a tiny bit, I think. Let me do a little more. We haven't got that data. Okay, that should be good. We haven't got no, no, Carlos, tienes que poner mínimo 16 con 2, eh? Con 2 no llevas. Right. It's funny, everyone always is like uh, checking their fuel amounts. Yeah, but yeah, coña. And uh, they'll start saying like, Oh yeah, I've got 12 liters or whatever. Is that enough? And everyone's like, oh yeah. And I'm over here looking at my gallons and I'm like, uh, yeah, totally. I'm good on fuel. Just have to trust... Uh, Trust my uh, setup since I get it from uh, Major's Garage. It's still kind of loud. We don't have that data. We don't have enough data okay. for that. I don't know. They're the, their mics are pretty loud or something. But that's okay. Minutes. The track temp is 79 Fahrenheit. Now we're ready to go here. We don't have the data. Sorry, I know I'm checking the... <laughs> I'm pressing that button to check the uh, fuel or whatever, and he's like, we don't have the data, please stop asking. 
That's just me. Uh, that's a good way for me to check the volume. All right, we're going already. We're leaving a tiny bit of room, but not that much. Good move. I'm going to warm up my brakes a little bit. Try to get that squeakiness out. Don't know how much that matters, but... Figure at least probably does something. Hopefully the uh, leader's good to us and doesn't do anything... Uh, Like, slow down the field right before it's about time to go. Dealt with that uh, a few too many times lately. It's been kind of irritating. Ooh, lighting just changed. That was a little <laughs> abrupt. Always throws me off a little bit when that happens in the middle of the race. Thankfully, it uh, got out of the way before we started going here. Not the worst pacing I've ever seen. Thankfully. You guys are being reasonable. What series am I in? Get ready, going green. Okay, Both cars, be ready. Watch for the lights. Go, go, going go. green, green. All right, that might be the cleanest start I've ever seen in this series, to be honest with you. Got a guy going defensive line. I don't want to take it three wide, that's for sure. Still there. Take it from behind. Gosh, the people behind me were scaring me. Vale, muy buena, chavales, eh? Muy buena, eh? Muy bien. Forex. Oh. I heard a lot of words I didn't understand, and then Forex. I'm assuming he got hit. <laughs> Whatever that guy was saying. You start's okay. We can build Taking it easy, cause uh car's not quite ready to go yet on these tires. So you got a car on the right. Slow car on the right already. Go left. Keep your wits oh my way. god, it's the Mustang. The Mustang we crashed it all on their own. And they just sat in the track. <laughs> Why are you even here, Mustang? Racing nobody. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully no one got that got into him. Or that would be uh very frustrating. Alright, so uh Town. We're off and work going. Together, please. Work together. Seems like everyone's doing all right. Ooh, that guy's off in the grass just a tiny bit. I don't think it was any harm done though. This might sound kind of crazy, because I never do this in road racing, but uh, I almost kind of feel like I want to save my tires a little bit, because uh, in the last race I did. By the end of it, the leader is just tires were kind of shot. Seven. It was struggling to turn. I don't, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do that, but I might think about it. <laughs> might be conscious of it and not just go completely crazy. Gotta be conscious of this guy uh, behind me, too. About poked his nose in while I was taking that corner, and I wasn't ready for him to be there. Hard already. P4. Yeah, they're giving, giving each other, uh, giving themselves off tracks and stuff. I don't know if I'm quite ready to. Oh, oh. It's an off track right there. Track limits. I was just about to say I'm not quite ready to be fighting hard enough to get off tracks, and I apparently missed my corner. I'll let this guy go. The guy behind has just done a clear seven point zero four. Oh, Colton. Come on, mate. Defend your position. Alright, you better go. I let you go. Now you gotta go faster than me. Them's the rules.
Oh my god, we almost got plowed from behind. The gap in front is now 0.6. Why is it so tight out of that corner now? I feel like I hit that so consistently well in the past and now I can't do it, but... Fastest lap for Lewin, 56.76. Well, this guy was not there, but he went for it anyway. Clear on the Thank you. I always appreciate that. It's my own fault for making mistakes, I guess. Got a uh, solstice in the grass. We're back on track, it looks like. Such a fast track when it's on this uh, classic layout. I don't think you ever go below second gear at any point, do you? About it. Why won't it turn in that corner now? Maybe I'm not turning in like I should be. I don't know. Oh, I missed my breaking point. What is wrong with me? I'm making all kinds of mistakes all of a sudden. Can you not drive me off the course? Freaking jerk. What a loser. Clear on the right. Slow car ahead. It's their class leader. All right. That was a weird way to take that corner. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. P7. Still there. Hold your line. What, the, what is wrong with this person? He's giving me literally no room. Like, he's just bumping into me. He's not giving room, and then there's... straight up running into me. Clear. Alright, get away from him, hopefully. I need to stop making mistakes so I can run away from the guys that are scaring me so much. I know I can be faster, too. Oh my gosh, I missed my turn in. I swear, that whole last race I did, I was racing several laps down, just finishing the race, because I got crashed. And there was no one around, and I wasn't fighting for anything, really. I was hitting every lap, doing just fine. And now when I'm actually uh, doing something, V6, the answer. I'm making mistakes. I don't feel like I'm doing anything different. It's just subconscious, I guess. Pressure gets to me or something, I don't know. It's probably a case of the overdriving. Probably trying to do too much. So maybe I'll just take a breath and take it easy. Well, Got all these guys all near each other up here. I can see them uh, getting into an accident before the end of this one easily, especially with how long this race is. I believe this is the longest, the series with the longest races that I do uh, on the roadside. I could be wrong. Yeah, these are pretty lengthy. Just gotta 
got uh, about 16 minutes left, it looks like. Oh, well. Go for that. See, it's like I didn't do that the whole time last time. Just overdriving it, I guess. They're snaking like crazy up there. Trying to break draft. Right, could have shifted in a second there. Oh, now they're running into each other. Oh boy, here we go. Now we're in the bee's nest. The beehive. I combined the wasp nest, nest and uh, beehive. And then I couldn't even say that in my explanation, so I'm, uh, I'm doing great right now. Well, now we're kind of stuck as these guys kind of uh, stack up on each other. Maybe we'll uh, get a run on them here and uh, be able to pass on by. You know what? Maybe it is. Maybe it's because I've got draft and I'm going a little bit faster through some of these corners. That uh, Maybe that's the reason why that I need to actually lift off a little more than I am. That's probably what it is. That's probably why it feels different because I was all on my own earlier in the last race, but now I'm not. I'm getting the draft, so that's probably why I have to lift off more. Okay, Colton. See, minutes. now I'm thinking. Chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. Now that seems on my noggin. So I just gotta adjust to that. Adjust to uh, entering these corners with a little extra speed. <laughs> I'm just, I'm kind of content just riding here as long as we're not getting caught from behind. Like, uh, not too concerned if these guys are going fast. Like, I don't need to be fighting for these positions so hard like these guys are. You know, if they're going to run into each other at some point, I, I would prefer to have some distance. Tricky though, because if I start slowing down too much, the guy behind catches, and then they, you know they're gonna start doing dive bombs and making my life miserable. So, just gotta have, uh, try to give myself room on both ends of the car. This uh, that matte black car is like all over the bumper of the other guy. I can only see that ending in tragedy. Like, he's trying to pass at every corner, even on corners you normally don't want to be trying to pass. Oh, boy. Left side. Keep I don't right. think I should have gone for this. You're in fifth. Well done, Clear. Carlton. This is great. Come on, keep nailing those exits. What? Let's get a car on your left. The gap's now zero. I'm on nine. Keep to the right. <laughs> Stay on the right. Clear on the left. I thought I gave him room. Not. I, that they were way too off pace for me not to do something there, though. I mean, like, because they did that too wide thing. That's half distance. The fuel's okay. Right. Genuinely good to know that the fuel's okay. I don't really care that much about draft. You can do that all you want. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. P5. That lap time was 58.32. I really need this guy to catch up, though. Like, keep up with the guys ahead of him. I don't want to be losing time.
here. Menuda salvada al tanque, madre mía! Still there. Clear on the left. 57.50. Left side. Keep to the right. Clear. Hey, well, nice. Got that done. Nice front. That worked better than I thought it would. Alright, see if we can get back up done, to this done, done. Push. Done. Not overdriving. Uh, finally, being a little bit more consistent. Every time, every time I say something, I do something. I make a mistake. I should just stop. Maybe I should say like, oh, I'm making awful mistake. I'm gonna make a terrible mistake. And then the corner. Is that how it works? I mean, that was a safe corner but it wasn't exactly fast so I don't know what that means I don't know how to solve that equation ten minutes to go that's ten minutes left we do seem faster than the guy behind so I'm glad we got around them we've got three Mazdas ahead of us and there looks like to be, there's another class in front of them what is that is that a solstice that might get interesting Hey, if I can pull off of this P4, I'll be perfectly happy with that. At least that one wasn't an off-track. I think the tires have gotten to the point where they've gotten worn a little bit. Need to actually uh, lift a little bit more. Okay, Colton, hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. You've just done a 57. We're being weird. I guess he's trying to let us by, but that was a weird way to do it, I think. Alfonso. Like why if why if you're gonna do it into turn one, why wouldn't you just do it on the straight? I don't know, get that, but I guess that's eh, it's a tough spot to be in when there's a huge long line of cars, so oh well. Could have been worse. The gap behind is now 0.8. Messed that up pretty good. Remember that I need to take that uh, corner a little softer. I need to lift a little bit. Warm the weather, Frankie. Warm the weather. Okay, Frankie. So good, man. So good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good, so good. Sarcasm coming from that gentleman. I wouldn't know anything about sarcasm. That definitely doesn't happen here. Oh. They're really nice about the off tracks uh, on that corner, at least. I've gotten the wheels off there and it hasn't uh, gotten mad at me a nice handful of times, so at least there's that. I'm starting to get off, uh, I've started to get off rhythm a little bit again, though, so I better, uh, Shape up. Had a couple bad laps. Guys are definitely not happy. That's what I was feeling last race. Uh, they really do start becoming a factor. Yeah, because it's a factor, I better actually. Oof. I better actually get such a last lap up. That might be more informative to me right now. Yeah, there we 
we go. Now I can kind of better gauge uh, what speeds I need to be entering and carrying through the corners a little bit better, maybe. Don't be distracted. That's good. Your position. Good idea, me. Thanks, me. Man, I'm the greatest. No, i <laughs> Alright, so I did a, uh... wait, let me stop myself, I'm about to praise myself again, that means I'm going to make a mistake. Let me get on the straightway first at least. Alright, I was going to say, I've started to be a little more consistent now, pulled away a little bit from the guy behind. All good things. P4, your lap time was at 57.67. It's definitely getting tighter, though. Just gotta manage it. Shouldn't be too bad. As long as I uh, stay ahead of it, don't find myself off track because it doesn't turn well enough. Guy heads hitting that, finding that solstice at a really bad time. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. Are we next? Finding that curb, but I was. <laughs> we're fine. Finding the solstice at a great time. And he knows how to get lapped, too. Just holds his line. Very good. Clear. Everything went great. Drove that maybe a little bit. Ah, I think we're okay. Can we catch this uh, guy in third? Be tough. I'm gonna have to get my marks, but I think we might be able to. If things go right. The guy behind is now. Oh, that was not right. Went too softly through there. He's got some uh, draft right now, too, because of the lapped Mazda. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Much better uh, turn one than last lap. Oh, he, he missed push, his mark push, pretty push. bad there. Does he feel the pressure? Keep the podium. So beautiful that battle. So beautiful Nathan. Whoa! What are you talking about? What's happening back there? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. When guys are yelling about things, I'm like, what on earth is going on back there? Take some of this draft. Why is the why is the lapped Mazda breaking the draft? You're reeling, Alfonso. It's a weird one. The gap is now 0.5. That lap time was 57.38. Lap Mazda's being a bit of a nuisance. I'll say that. Why are you parking on the driving line? Car on your left. Are you driving in you my exact line that I'm currently in? Keep to the right. Please back off. Clear. Lord. Slow me down, man. I, mean, I guess that's fair. He slowed down the guy in Just front of me. Might as well slow, to slow me down, too. To down a whole second this lap. So, thank you, 15. Very cool, very cool. Two laps to go, probably. Oh, we got more lap traffic coming, too. Oh, boy, this is fun.
way. Why? Oh my god, why? Right side. Clear on the right. Well, that hurt us much more than it hurt the five. White flag. One more left to go. Well, we're not going to catch them now unless there's a uh, some crashing going on. I got enough fuel right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was kind of looking at blinking light and I got worried for a second. God, I almost <laughs> cut that way too much. I mean, I did cut it way too much, but I almost got worse consequences out of it. Look at all the time we lost because of that uh, Jetta last lap. Well, we gave it our best. Don't get it. Look at me. Unnecessary out drag right at the end. Why would I do that? Uh, well, we got a fourth place, and that's pretty darn good. D4. Okay. Very happy with that. There's the flag. It's over. Nice run. Solid work. Right. I think is this Mazda behind us still on a lap? Kevin, what the fuck? In the yeah, middle of the cover, man. Fuck. <clears throat> Let's pull over. Okay, there we go. Just waiting for the safe spot to do it. Good win, number one. Give him that, because he earned it. That was a very close finish. Wow. Point zero six two. All right, so that was much better than my last one where I got crashed out. Got ourselves a top five, almost a podium, but not quite. And uh, avoided any major messes. Yeah, good racing in the middle of the It's good racing. I just couldn't keep you behind at the end of the race. Kevin screwed my everything from the last corner, so good job, though. Good job. All right, we'll go ahead and just jump right to the incidents. We're going to have plenty to see. Starting with lap one. Oh man, look at that. Almost four wide. There's always going to be chaos. And, uh, <laughs> well, we saw the beginnings of some more chaos right there. I knew that wasn't going to end well. Oof. Let's say it's rolling across the track. He holds his brakes there. The 23 and the 12 are fine. He knocked out the entire Solstice class, I think. Da, da, da. Yep, he managed to take out every single Solstice in the race by not holding his brakes. Hold your brakes. Oh, yeah, and the only mu Mustang in the race, racing literally nobody, crashes on his own on the first lap and then blocks the track. Just tow. Get out of the way. I mean, I don't know why he's even racing here anyway. All he did was give himself incidents. He's going to get no eye, eye rating. Whoa. Okay, this guy has a lot of problems. He'll be here all day analyzing every problem he has. Too much of the curve. I almost did that uh, one of the last laps there. Ate too much of that curb. Probably gonna see a lot of that, so I might have to speed through these uh, these wrecks a little bit until we see some nearby guys. We're already on lap five, though. That's not bad. Yeah, it was maybe not ready to let the monster by there and step their corner. Oh, hey, that's me. 
That's the guy who just... <laughs> yeah, he's complaining in chat about guys ruining his car in the first turn, and here he is, lap six, in the first turn, running into my car. I don't think you ruined my car. But, uh, I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> he just, he just, uh, drifts wide like no one's there. Like he thought he was going to clear me, I guess. But he didn't. We beat him in the end. In fact, he had, uh, he had some troubles. He fell back quite a bit. This might be a reason why. Nah, he's good. He just hit the car way too hard. I think we do pass him here, though. Can't remember. How did this go? Oh, yeah. He turns directly into me. So that's two times in turn one that he runs into us, and then he's going to complain after the race at someone for running into him on the in the first current corner. In the first current. We passed him, though. Oh, that was a leader. Hmm. He still beat us, though. Excuse me. This jet having a lot of uh, issues. Fighting for the lead. He. Oh my God. That black Mazda goes for the KO. guess he thought he was going to be hot shot and like pass two people at once. And all he does is give both of the other guys a hot shot. Okay, I remember this now. This is when they all stacked up and I was like, oh boy, here we go. As, uh, you put a bunch of cars under a blanket, they're going to run into each other. Nothing. This number seven was fast, but they were all over the place sometimes too. They were definitely giving, uh, getting 101 percent out of their car, and that uh, extra one percent was causing them to go off the track every once in a while, run into things. <laughs> Seventeen with the slide job on the Jetta. Interesting technique. Much going on there. Oh, that might be bad. Okay, that could have been much worse for them. Don't want to see the Jetta hit the curb again, thank you. Ooh, that's tough luck. That was not the 13th's fault at all. That was the other guy that got into the grass a little bit, it looks like. And uh, Pennzoil was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Not seen this guy at all yet, and all this is is a tiny little off track, maybe. I don't even think that would give you an off track, so that's good. Bunch of Mazda stuck behind a uh, Jetta there. Number five with the aggressive move. Seem like they're fighting pretty, uh, pretty good though. Ooh, almost a little contact there. Exciting racing, this race for sure. They're all over each other. This is after the race. I believe this guy, yeah. Oh, no. This guy was stopping. This is why you don't just stop, like, in the middle of the track, because you don't know if guys are going to be uh, continuing on for a little longer. Some guys like to do some more, uh, like, another lap afterward, because safety rating still counts until it's over. And, uh... Let me reiterate, safety rating still counts until everybody finishes, so uh, that counted too. So that's why I'm, I'm extra careful even after the race is over to find a very safe spot. Or else you start piling into each other. But uh, alright, a little more incidents than I would hope for with a, a 5X, but uh, not too bad. Those are mostly, uh, if not entirely off tracks. I think I might have had 
the, that contact with the guy or maybe give me a 2x or something but um regardless i've got the p4 uh very happy with that p4 overall as well because the mustang self-spun on lap one so i'm very happy with that i don't think i made anyone <laughs> mad at me that's always good and uh i think it should have been a pretty entertaining race too lots of good action i feel so uh all right, survived another production car challenge. Good stuff. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.